My name is Kira Griffiths and my bisexual healthcare story matters. One of my huge hurdles with healthcare is the cost of insurance. I'm one of the Americans who are uninsured and that's pretty much all because of the price of healthcare. I am in no position to afford that extra cost every month. I am one of those young people who are in a low income earning bracket because I am not in the developed part of my career. I am also one of the people who, although the law extended the dependent age to 26, my parents can't afford the high cost family plan through their employers and so I go uninsured. Um, there are free clinic slash sliding scale fee services or facilities where I live, but even those costs are still too high for me when I have to worry more about keeping the roof over my head and food on my plate. Um, it's a risky lifestyle because I do have a family history that is prone to diabetes, hypertension, and certain forms of cancer, and any healthcare expert would tell you that preventative care, meaning annual or every two years screenings for certain signs, such as mammograms and pap smears, and getting regular testing of your blood sugar levels and your blood pressure, are great ways to keep on top of any diseases that may develop because early detection is the best care. Um, the truth is, that's not an option for me at the moment, and so I make the decision to pretty much not take care of those health matters with myself. Um, it's not a decision that I choose when I, if I were to have the funds available, but it's one that I live with. Um, another thing is, as an obese person, I'm even more prone to cardiac or cardio-related health issues, you know, heart disease, heart attacks. I'm more prone to being diabetic, even beyond my family history. My body will just function at a riskier level because it has so many extra pounds and stresses on it, um, hypertension as well as joint related issues and all of these things make me a bigger risk factor than normally. Um, I haven't really had any LGBT experiences medically only because when I used to see my healthcare provider regularly as like a preteen, I was back when I was seeing my family doctor, I wasn't identified as anything as bisexual or anything like that. So I was just there under typical circumstances. And so that part of my life wasn't a part of my visits. But in the years since I've been in a doctor's office, um, my life has developed into a bisexual life and I would hope that when I do return to a life of healthcare privileges where I see a doctor every year that I would have a competent doctor or even healthcare providers like therapists or counselors even certain specialists I would hope that these experts wouldn't just assume anything about me and always leave the door open for me to, to identify and define myself and my life. It's too important to understand that we're all people and we're all deserving of people rights. No group should be having to demand extra or demand civil rights and civil treatment. We're all one species. So those are just some of the hurdles that I do face in my everyday life and some of the reasons why it's important that my story is told because I live the life of many Americans out there. We want to have the best care, but unfortunately we can't afford it. And although I'm from the school of believing in, con in contributing to the cost of my health care, I also do believe that there is a lot that needs to be regulated in the system 
there are just way too many bizarre costs for things that we as humans rely on to keep healthy. Um, you know, I'm sorry, but I don't see why my doctor needs to be living in a million dollar mansion when he provides a service that relies on the human body. <laughs> sorry. Um, that is my bisexual healthcare story. And although it's limited, it's still relevant. And even more so, it's mine. So I tell it freely. Thank you.